So welcome to this episode, everyone. On this adventure, we head back down to Bald Eagle State Forest for a modern gravel adventure. We're gonna ride on some trail, some gravel, some snow, and just enjoy the great scenery that the area has to offer. For this trip, we're gonna station out of Tea Springs Picnic Area, which is just a little bit farther than our usual exit at Mile Run. Before we left, we checked out the snow map of the area. We knew we were gonna run into a little bit of snow down there. We weren't sure what to really expect though, so we packed the car with gear for everything. Right? We were prepared to just hike if there was too much snow left down there. Let's see how it played out. The bad habit of washing my car and then coming to Baldy. Pulled into the lovely Tea Springs at Baldy, but drove in on the dirt roads. Conditions are a little variable. And some spots look a little icy, some spots were completely dirt, so we'll see. I give the ride a shot still. There's a couple different bail options we could have if we need. So try it out, see what happens. towards the dirt. Gave Leah a camera today, so she's always in front of me now with the e-bike. So as we started the ride, it was evident that the conditions were going to variate greatly throughout the surfaces. We ran into anywhere from dirt to up to two inches of some slushy white snow. Coming out of Duncan Trail. Phew. So we, we pulled out the purple lizard map at the last intersection there have an alternate route planned. Leah's still having fun, so I don't want that to change. So we're definitely not gonna do the whole route we had intended. Uh, still make it going in, but once we get out to the paved road here, we're gonna head back towards the parking lot. We'll hit the one trail we wanted to ride still at the end, the Buck Gap Trail, see what that's like. Then we'll get back to the car a little earlier. Uh, still with the workout though. Not the easiest ride in this stuff. That's why I checked the snow report before we left and we knew we were going to experience some type of snow so we were prepared that's we were even ready to just hike and not bike at all so getting in this little bit is better than nothing but maybe check out the tea springs area with our hop teas go for a little hike around the area there's a couple trails right there by the lot we'll see what happens so our ride started at the tea springs picnic area as stated came down crossed over 80 took cooper mill up to duncan trail Came across Duncan, to Garden Hollow, to Breon, right, and we got over here. We headed down towards this paved stretch, and our original plan was to come up into 880 and ride some of this stuff up in this section, which we've never been in before, and then we're going to come back across the Teesprings that way. But with the conditions, we decided to stay down here, and we stayed on the pavement back over 80, and we went to Omhai's Gap here, up to Zimmerman. And then down Buck Gap. And then we took this newer Teespring trail as well back to the parking lot. So with our new plan in motion, we headed down Breon Road towards McCall Dam Road. Ah, oh, look at you. Hi. <laughs> I was saying back there, Leah's having a little bit of trouble. I'm able to keep floating on top of everything here. It's pretty packed down. But with the weight of the e-bike, she's sinking through and is sliding out, shropping a little bit more. <laughs> that and when she goes to pedal and the assist kicks in, it, it wants to spin out her <laughs> back tire on her a little bit. So non-powered bikes for the win. <laughs> Learn how to ride in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. 
heading down to the intersection of the other road over here and we're gonna head down to some pavement so we'll get moving a bit quicker. So as we turned right onto McCall Dam Road, there was one more slushy stretch of road that went through some pines with the stream alongside us before we hit the pavement, going through some nice Amish country and some beautiful farmland, taking us back towards our car at Teespring's picnic area. Sure is pretty. Is it finally back to where she can take over? Now she's gonna smoke me. Track engage. Road cyclist keeps taking e biker friends. And up the gap. Uh, turn around. No winter maintenance. And this section up Ohm Heist Gap sure was pretty. Going for it, see what it's like. Climb this up, up to Zimmerman, to a trail, Buck Gap Trail. Curious to check that out, see what it's like. And that'll take us back to the paved road we were just on, back to the car to finish it off. Pines, snowy scene, battling brook. Oh man. Alright, big time temperature change. Switch back up, switch back in, and right up the gut. Oh yeah. Look at this scene. And after a quick bit on Zimmerman, we found our trail, Buck Gap. And Buck Gap was a gorgeous downhill through some beautiful pines. Very beautiful. See how she handles. A little bit of chunder. She's been pretty smooth this whole ride. See how she does through the garden. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, crushed it. Yeah. At the conclusion of Buck's Gap, just before it exits to the road, you can take this left-hand turn on the Tea Springs Trail, which is another double track type of situation that takes you back to the lot, Sands Pavement. covering <laughs> I got some 
latrine style bathrooms over there. I think this was very nice. Outside of some noise from the interstate. It's really about the only downfall of the lot so far, but might park here more often. It's only the next exit up from our usual mile run. So after the ride, we took a quick hike as the sun was setting up Old Tea Springs Road towards the remnants of the old dynamite shack that used to be there when it was a CCC camp. Warming up in the Teespring house. <laughs> to go home but you can't stay here so hope you enjoyed that one glad we were still able to get a good ride down there with the way the conditions were on the drive-in it wasn't looking like it was going to be fun but we ended up managing it's always fun riding stuff new to us and that ending section with the Ohm Heist Gap, the Buck Gap Trail, and the Tea Kettle Trail. That was a great ender. Definitely looking forward to incorporating those into other rides soon. We also want to get back down there and check out, I mentioned in the one part of the video there, that we intended to go up into another section of Baldy that I haven't been to myself. So we definitely want to get back there as well. According to the map, there's some vistas and maybe even a waterfall over there that I would love to see. So we'll definitely be making a trip back down here as you would expect. Till then though, coffee, cycling, take both. We'll see you out there. <laughs>